Well, over to college football in Georgia and Michigan battle tomorrow night with a spot in the national championship on the line. Now, after struggling in Georgia's loss against Alabama, the Bulldogs have decided to stick with Stetson Bennett as their QB1. Now, Stetson Bennett has been the primary starter going 9-1 in 2021. However, his performance against Alabama, I mean, less than stellar is being kind. Bennett threw two interceptions against Bama. He threw three in his other starts previously in 2021. And yesterday, Georgia head coach Kirby Smart had this to say about the decision. Stetson's our starting quarterback. So, um, again, the JT situation will be a matter of, you know, is the situation right? And also, is he healthy enough? That's the key. Is he healthy enough? Now, David Pollock gets up with us from the Orange Bowl for more on this matchup. And, look, Pollock, this is the the issue that's on everybody's mind in Georgia. Is Georgia making the right decision with Stetson Bennett over JT Daniels? You know, this is the topic of conversation because Stetson Bennett's a walk-on. That's why we have this conversation because you just put up those numbers, 20 and 3. 20-3, 20-3, and three, mm. touchdown to interception ratio with the number one team in the country beating everybody up, but we create a, a quarterback controversy because he's not the most highly recruited kid, and uh, the other kids, highly, highly recruited JT Daniels, one of the most highly recruited kids in the country coming out of high school, so no, I mean, he brought you here. He got you to this point. He's played great football. He's played, uh, he's taken great shots down the field all throughout the season, but can he make those mistakes against Alabama again? Absolutely not. But if you didn't see Stetson Bennett get pulled after his second INT against Alabama in the SC Championship game, I don't think you're going to see him get pulled uh, coming up unless unless he plays really horrible early, early just like everybody else. Like, uh, remember the national championship. Uh, Jalen Hurts got benched. Tua Tagovailoa comes in and saves the day for Alabama. So you play really bad. Sometimes you get benched. But this narrative is just interesting for a guy that had 20 TDs, three INTs throughout the season and was the number one team in the country but had a, had a bad game. Okay, so finish this sentence for us in terms of talking about the game. Michigan wins if. Michigan wins if if they stop Georgia's run game. Like, Georgia's run game with two tight ends, that's what they do. They're not a spread them out, throw it all over the yard kind of a team. That's not what they've been throughout the season. Michigan has actually struggled some against two tight end sets against Michigan State. Kenneth Walker had some success. That's what this team, Georgia's built on the run game and the play action shots. If you let the best one-two punch at defensive end in college football with Ajabo and Hutchinson getting passing situations, it's going to be a great thing for Michigan because nobody can block those two guys. You saw it against Ohio State. So they got to stuff that ground game for Georgia because the play action off of it, the third down situations that they get in, they will win with Hutchinson and Ajabo. And boy, let me tell you, after a dominant regular season, which led to a second place finish in the Heisman voting for Aiden Hutchinson, the Michigan defensive end is the top player in Mel Kuyper Jr.'s big board. However, he won't be the only first round caliber NFL talent on the field tomorrow night because along with Hutchinson on Kuyper's big board is another Wolverine defensive end, David Ojabo. Mel has him ranked ninth, and then Georgia linebacker Nicobe Dean ranks 12th overall. So David Pollock's back with us now to talk about this game and the talent in it. Now, David, the game features three of the top 12 prospects in this year's NFL draft. What are, what are you seeing in terms of comparisons made for these players, starting with the top player on Mel Kuyper Jr.'s big board, Aiden Hutchinson? Ryan, this is always cool, and this is something we always do, is you always look at somebody, and after you've been doing this for so many years, you're like, all right, I see so-and-so when I mm-hmm. look at him. And Aiden Hutchinson has been an absolute animal. I mean, he's been unbelievable. And, and I think he compares favorably to a guy like Chris Long. You saw him for a number of years in the NFL. Um, quick first step. Uh, got good range, good t- good height. Aiden Hutchinson obviously got good power. Both of them play with a really, really high motor. Um, so he's got a lot of Chris Long in him when I watch Aiden Hutchinson. All right, how about Michigan's other defensive star, David Ajabo? You know, Michigan finds these guys. It's kind of crazy. We've seen them over the years with they find guys that just need to be uh, developed, like Quiddy Pay that's taking some time. Rashawn Gary, just really freaky Friday athletes. This guy is huge, six foot five. Um, you can see, gets off the ball so daggum fast. Reminds me of Josh Allen, not the quarterback. Josh <laughs> Allen from Kentucky, when you saw him coming out with a big, tall frame, elite first step, still needed to work on his hands and develop. But you saw the closing speed. You saw the athleticism. You saw the ability to play the football play the football the way it's supposed to be played. So he's got a lot of Josh Allen in me, too. Yeah, you're talking about the Josh Allen who got after Josh Allen earlier this year. Now, going to Georgia's defense now, what comparison can be made for N'Kobe Dean? 
Man, Georgia had another elite run back in the day um, to a national championship game when they played Alabama. Remember they Rose Bowl versus Baker Mayfield and company with Oklahoma. And the guy that was on that defense was Roquan Smith, a guy that, again, wasn't the biggest guy, wasn't necessarily the fastest, but you saw the dude played all over the field, uh, played faster than he was, great instincts, great football player. The Kobe Dean, great in coverage. Super high IQ, you can tell. Uh, great blitzer that can get after the quarterback and rush the passer. So, the Kobe Dean's got a lot of Roquan Smith in him from the same, same college. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.